Hi friends, uh, welcome back to Tech Rex Info. With the help of uh, this particular animation, let's learn how internally a centrifugal supercharger actually works. So you can see the animation of the internal components of a centrifugal supercharger and it's working and we will be explaining it in detail. Uh, as you all know, uh, a centrifugal supercharger is used in an engine to increase the volumetric efficiency of the engine and it gets its drive directly from the crankshaft through a belt drive or to a gear drive it takes a drive from the engine crankshaft itself so let's identify the internal components of a centrifugal supercharger so this is uh, the casing it exactly looked like a uh, centrifugal pump casing and we have uh, the impellers which rotate at nearly 50,000 to 60,000 rpm and it gets its drive from the crankshaft of the engine itself then we have the diffusers and uh, that's a diffuser it's a stationary unit it doesn't rotate and uh, that's uh, the side view as you can see over here the air in, in intake is through this port and uh, this is the outlet so through here uh, the air goes into the inlet manifold so here this is the fresh air coming into the supercharger so now let's see uh, how it happens uh, so this is how the uh, impellers rotate when it gets its drive from the engine and through the center uh, you can see the red arrow uh, the air comes into the impellers and it comes with a high velocity and low pressure so it enters and carries through the impeller at a high velocity and low pressure and from the impeller it goes towards the diffuser so as the diffuser is stationary when the fresh air enters uh, the diffuser what happens is that the pressure gets increased and the velocity gets reduced so we create a high pressure and a low velocity when the air enters uh, the diffusers and it is being pushed out towards the inlet manifold uh, through uh, the casing so once again let's see the air enters the impellers at high velocity and low pressure and as this and it rotates the, the impellers rotate and the diffusers are stationary so when it reaches the diffusers the pressure increases and the velocity decreases so we get more velocity uh, more uh, pressure and less velocity that means the air gets compressed and this compressed air is being pushed outside uh, towards uh, the engine inlet manifold which increases the volumetric efficiency of the engine and more power for the engine so that's how internally a centrifugal supercharger works and uh, this video comes to you from techrexinfo.com for more videos you can subscribe to us by clicking on this subscribe button uh, url is youtube.com oblique techrexinfo or you can visit our website for more details uh, thanks for watching this video have a happy learning experience visit back thank you